Hey guys, welcome back. I'm glad you came because today I'm actually going to show you how to condition a pan, which is called seasoning the pan. It's a cast iron skillet and then that way you can have a non-stick coating on it and you can make pizza, you can make steak, you can make hamburgers, you can make just about anything in that pan and it's going to have a coating on there so that things won't stick to it. You cannot start cooking in a pan that's been in storage. It has a bunch of rust on it. Now, these are cast iron skillets. They've been used forever because originally pans didn't have a, a non-stick surface on them. You had to, to put it on and you do that by actually using a fat and doing something called polymerization, which it puts a coating on there and it bakes it on and makes almost like a shell on there so that nothing will stick to it and provides us an excellent cooking surface now these pans are heavy these are like the ones in the in the old cartoons someone chase after someone trying to bop them on the head that or a rolling pin so i don't know what it was about kitchen tools and kitchen utensils in those cartoons but i guess they make a, a good thing to chase after someone with but at any rate what we're going to do is try to chase after the food so the first thing you want to do to start cleaning them is actually you can use soap and water because you need to get everything out of there and get that rust out of there. So I'm going to take this over to the sink. That's not going to do it quite yet. I'm going to put a little soap in, take a scrub brush and work on it. You don't want to have any rust in there. But what we do want to do is get it as clean as possible down to the iron. Now see, many people say you don't want to use soap in there, but that's once you get that, once you get that shell onto it, baked onto it, then you don't want to do that. You don't want to take that shell off by using soap, but to start off, you got to have a clean surface. So I scrub that with a little soap and a a pad on a sponge you want to get any any rust off of there I do not want my food tasting like rust don't think that's especially going to be good I'm gonna do one, give it one more last good scrub again. It doesn't matter what you use, what kind of pad you use to get that off of there. Because these pans will rust pretty quickly in storage if they haven't been conditioned. And these weren't. You can use these for a while, but I plan to use these to make sourdough pizza or bread actually in the pan but if you don't cook steaks outside on a grill and you choose to cook them inside this is one of the very best ways to actually make a steak inside now that pan is really clean so you can see that now that's been completely cleaned out and now, what I'm going to do is keep going around in circles, as you can see. <laughs> you want to get that, though, till uh, you know, there's nothing coming off of there anymore. You can use anything that has a good scrubbing surface. So once you get that off, then you want to take your oil. Now, some oils at not a very high temperature will actually start smoking and you don't want to use that because this is going to be a pretty high temperature. Two of the best are beef tallow which has been been cleaned and processed to where it's it's pure beef beef fat and that's actually what I'm going to use but you can use clarified butter in which the actual butter has had the milk solids taken out 
and they won't they won't start uh, smoking and so I'm gonna take the first spoonful of that and put in now we want to get that melted so I'm actually gonna stick it on the stove because I'm actually gonna do this in the oven you can do it on a stovetop the problem is it doesn't get the entire thing hot I'm just gonna put a little bit more in there okay so this is heating up now and so once you get that oil heated up enough to move it around in the pan you want to coat all the surfaces of it then turn the oven on about 400 just shy of 450 just right under I'm gonna put about 430 and once that melts I'm gonna take a paper towel I don't want to burn myself but the main thing you want to do is coat all the surface with that oil then I'm gonna put it in the oven upside down over a cookie sheet so that that oil can drip off and I'm gonna leave it in there for about 20 minutes just gonna bake that oil onto there and create a non-toxic healthy cooking surface that isn't going to stick which is unlike the Teflon and the other things that they put in cooking surfaces now you know when those heat up those are known to cause a lot of problems and <laughs> you don't want toxins in your food it's hard enough to get good food that doesn't have pesticides and things in it you don't need to add anything to it you want to eat as wholesome as possible if you do that you give your body a chance to heal itself and make you make you healthy and well from the nutrition that you get so now I'm gonna actually take this pan and put it in the oven Now I've already put the baking sheet inside the, the uh, oven. What I'm going to do, this is a re really large pan. I'm going to um, put some oil on the back side of it also so it'll, it will condition it. What we want to do is get a little bit of that on the paper towel. Just get it everywhere. It's going to provide a surface for it so it doesn't rust and it just creates a really nice nice coating for the pan after it gets baked on we're going to end up with an awesome healthy non-stick surface now when you heat this up some of this oil from in here will drip down so that's that's the reason for the baking sheet in there so now I'm going to put that in right over the baking sheet. This is a pretty heavy pan, I'm telling you. Wake up the neighborhood. If you do this in the, in the night or if you do it in the morning, you'll have people knocking at your door as it should be once they find out what you're cooking they'll come back again <laughs> so so now I'm gonna leave that in there for a while and then I'm gonna come back I'm gonna show you exactly without getting burned of course take that out show you exactly what it looks like and you do that a couple more times you're gonna have a really really a well coated pan which then you can use to make bread pizza all sorts of things hit the like button below and also hit the subscribe button for me and I'll be back in a bit okay so that's in the oven and it's been about let's say about five minutes and while that while that continues uh, to heat up and and build that surface coating on it I'm gonna work on this pan so this pans the same 
the same material, uh, cast iron skillet, it's just a lot smaller cast iron skillet. But in this pan, rather than use the beef tallow, I'm gonna use the clarified butter, which is called ghee, G-H-E-E. -E. And that takes out the milk solids so it won't sm start smoking and put a lot of smoke into the air. This is a really high smoke temperature point. So before I put that in there, once again, I'm going to take it over here to the sink and clean it. You're not going to hurt these pans with soap. Many times they'll tell you don't use soap on one of these pans. That's so you don't take your coating off once it's been put on. But in building that coating, you want to start with a good base. So use a little elbow grease on that baby. <clears throat> then you don't have to go to the gym. You can just work on that. You march a little bit. You don't have to ride the bike. And then you'll be ready for some healthy food that you cook in here. I'm gonna wash that soap out of there. Now these pans are like the old school chuck wagon type uh, pans. You know, forever this is what they cooked in. They didn't have Teflon coated pans that were non-stick or spraying it with some harmful oils. Once you get this pan clean and have that coating put on, You don't have to worry about it anymore. And you're not going to have any problem with things sticking. So that's good on that. Of course, you know, everyone knows how to wash a dish, but <laughs> you never get to actually watch somebody else do it for fun and say, hey, I'm glad that wasn't me doing that. Like watching somebody mow a lawn. I'd rather watch somebody mow a lawn than mow a lawn, but I know a lot of people like to mow lawns. <laughs> I mowed one too many lawns growing up, so I don't need any lawns. So um, before I turn that over, I'm going to put that clarified butter in there. I tell you, I can taste that food already. So I'm going to put that on top of the stove, let it heat up just a little bit, and I'm going to take paper towel again and get it a little bit on there and we're going to compare these pans see if we notice any difference and you got to make sure to you don't use regular butter because regular butter is going to have those milk solids in it it's going to start smoking it's going to leave the residue from the solids from the milk in there this takes the solids out and leaves a clear oil And it, it smells like, I'm not going to say it smells like popcorn, but butter's butter. Provides a great surface. Uh, like again, like I said, you can use coconut oil. But this is kind of a little bit of a chemistry project with this. It's called polymerization again, and it creates a surface. I don't want to put the butter back on the top of the stove. It's such a thin coat. Didn't get anything going on that. But I'm going to put that in the uh, oven also. But that pan in there is so big that it's not going to fit. So I'll do it second. And then we'll compare again after a little bit. And, you know, if you, do, if you use clarified butter, you can always take a little salt and put on your finger. Now that tastes like popcorn. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> hey, if you don't have a little fun in the kitchen, what's the point? <laughs> I'm serious about that. Okay, now as will happen in the kitchen, 
I've talked myself into it. So I've taken this pan and put about just a thin layer on the bottom of it of olive oil. Something about that salt and that butter I said, you know what, I'm having some popcorn. While I wait for those pans to finish, I'm gonna reach in there. I mean, I don't know if I need a movie, but I need me some popcorn. So I'm putting a little in there, putting it on the bottom. I'm gonna see what starts happening here shortly. You can cook that popcorn in a little bit of olive oil. You can get enough in there so those kernels get hot. And then, pop! Sucker pops, baby. The thing about popcorn, <laughs> we've had time to go get into popcorn now in a movie. The thing about popcorn is if you cook that popcorn in olive oil and keep it on medium heat, it'll never get hot enough to affect that olive oil in a bad way or in a negative way, but you'll have the most healthy popcorn. And then if you use real butter on that, none of that stuff you see at the movie house where they put the colored stuff on there. And you know, there are, there are some terrible things for you in that stuff. You have to make sure to put real butter on top of that and salt. And there's really nothing, well, let's say nothing healthier than popcorn. It's extremely healthy and good for you. And if you use butter and you cook it in an oil, there we go. You cook it in an oil that's healthy. Glorious popcorn. Starts off slow, builds, crescendo. It's gonna be like Pavarotti. You know Pavarotti, you remember him. The big opera singer from Italy. He'd, he'd belt out a note and he'd light up the entire town. If you ever saw the video Sarajevo with U2, U2 and Pavarotti sang together on that song, look that one up online. It's pretty amazing. Really amazing. Like that. So now that popcorn is done. I'm gonna take a little saucepan. I'm gonna take a little whole butter. You can use the same ghee if you want. I just like butter. A butter on popcorn. Like who doesn't like butter on popcorn? Has anybody even had butter on popcorn lately? Everywhere you go, it's fake. We're gonna do the real deal. I'm gonna put that there. We're gonna take the the salt shaker, now I had the salt shaker, there it is right in front of me. We're gonna put a little salt on that popcorn. And we're gonna wait just a, about 30 seconds while that butter belts. <laughs> mm. All from seasoning a pan and putting a little salt on my fingers. I mean, that's what you got to do when you're seasoning a pan. Have fun. You're going to be back on it. So make some popcorn. Get some popcorn. Right about the time you get done with that popcorn, that pan's going to be done. And that butter is just about melted. So what we're going to do, rather than take that entire pot of popcorn right now, I'm gonna take some of it, that's done. I'm gonna take a little bit of it, pour in a bowl. And on goes the butter. The real butter with the popcorn cooked in olive oil. There are no fake colors. There are no fake chemicals. There are no fake oils. There are no synthetic oils. Mm. 
Now that that is a good movie. That's a good movie. I can tell you everything about that movie. I can even probably remember it. I can probably even remember a few lines from it. Mmm. God, I thought of that. Anytime you get salt on your fingers, you should make popcorn. In the meantime, we're right over 20 minutes on the seasoned pan. I'm going to turn that oven off. And I'm not going to pull that thing out and set it up here that hot because it's just going to sit there hot. I'm going to let it cool down, come back, we'll take a look at it. Okay, we're back now, and that oven has cooled down quite a bit. You know, it's probably just as well to leave that pan in the oven, let it completely cool down if it takes overnight or however how long it takes, and then come back and take it out. Um, I'm going to attempt to take it out and let you see it. But right now, if you like popcorn while you're seasoning a pan, hit the like button and also the subscribe button. I don't know many places that are actually cooking popcorn while they're seasoning pans, but I am. Mm. I think you'll enjoy it. So, mm, that oven's hot. Now this pan is heavy, the pan's hot. You do not want to burn yourself. You set it up on top of the stove. You know, many different cooks have many different ways to do this. There are certain ones that say, just cook with fat, it'll season itself. There's other ones that will put it on top of the burner and let it smoke, the smoke up the whole house. <laughs> you'd, be, you'd be in an issue like that. And then there's ones that'll cook in the oven. The main thing is once it gets a fat layer on it, just from using it, uh, as long as you don't wash that off with soap, it's going to be conditioned and seasoned and you're going to be able to make things on there and not not have things stick. You know, ideally you want to do this a number of times. I'm going to let this cool down now because it is hot. This next one I would do on the top of the stove, but the bottom needs season too. And so that would probably really smoke things up just as well to do it in the oven also, uh, at least initially. Later as that bottom gets on, you can do it on the stove and heat it up and let the same thing happen. And that will actually uh, get conditioned and you'll be able to cook on it, which we're going to do soon. Put that in there. Turn that back on. I did not really want to open that up when it was hot. <laughs> so that'll be done. I'm going to come back and show you that when it cools down. And I'm going to continue to eat this popcorn. You got to have popcorn while you're doing things like this. You can't just miss out on that so if you like what you see in these videos hit the like button down below and let everyone find out about this and also the subscribe button and i'll look forward to making these videos for you again i'm going to be right back though to show you that pan but it's not going to be in a few minutes i'm going to let that thing cool down for a few hours and then we'll take a look at it i'll see you soon Okay, I am back, and these have cooled down now for a few hours. My popcorn's almost gone, so, <laughs> but it was good. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you what the pans have come out like. So this is the big one, and this was with the, um, with the tallow. And you can see it's, 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 um, it's slightly tacky. It's really not. Not much of just a very slight bit of oil on there and it's a little sticky you know as as you bake it on over and over a few times that shell builds up uh, I'm gonna compare actually how this one is compared to the one that I used clarified butter on it's tacky just the same honestly I can't really tell the difference between the two um, they both have a pretty good surface. You, most, most places recommend that you do it a few times, you know, and it gradually will build up that, that thicker shell. Uh, it's just a matter of baking that on. But they, come out, they came out really, really nice. So 
that's how you do that. That's how you, you bake that on. And so you have a pan that's not going to rust. It's not going to stick. It's going to be great to cook things on. And that's what we're going to do. We're going to make some really good things in it. And so I look forward to that. So little by little, everyone here is going to become an expert at nourishing your body and having a good time doing it. So hit the subscribe button down below for me and also the like button. I look forward to seeing you back here and make some of that popcorn. <laughs>